guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Jonna Kamara and we're here for another weekend vlog I wasn't really gonna vlog this weekend or I didn't plan to vlog this weekend but I figured I have a few little few little things I'm doing catching up with some friends that I haven't seen in years um childhood friends and then also doing some plant shopping which you guys know that I love my plants so figure why not bring you guys around but before we get started with this weekend make sure if you haven't already subscribed to my channel um we're going to be interacting throughout this this vlog because we always do so be sure to comment kiki with your girl and follow me on all my socials J on instagram and tiktok and for my home and diy which i've been active on the home page sincerely Jonna camara on instagram but before i just wanted to check in before I head out, I'm actually heading to Annapolis to meet my friend at Cooper's Hawk Wine Restaurant and Winery. I haven't been before, so this is going to be super exciting. Y'all know I love me. Y'all know I love me some wine. Y'all know I love me some wine. So I just wanted to jump on before we get on the road and go to meet her, and then may do a little bit of errands or just like pop around some stores in Annapolis since it's not super close. I don't go there often, so since I'm out there, why not? And it's a beautiful day beautiful so maybe make a day out of it it is finally the weather where well the sunroof doesn't have to equate with the weather however comma i love to use my sunroof when it is nice outside you see the way the sun coming in uh -huh, uh -huh. it is sunroof weather sunroof weather and i'm here for it Oof, the sun just does something like Seasonal depression is really a thing. I'm not going to say that, like, I suffer from it terribly. However, when the sun is out, your girl is up. I am up. It's a nice little 60 degrees. And if y'all can hear the air, I'm sorry. But people are clearly outside because the traffic to get out of my neighborhood is insane. And my ETA just went up, so cool. Cool. Morning, you're in the morning. Well, I need you now. I'm with, can you see yourself? Yeah. I'm with my friend Brie, guys. Hey. Turn this. It's been like dang, how many years? We only been friends for almost 20 years at this point. You know, like, almost 20. Years. No big deal. No big deal. It's a little chilly. It looks nicer than it feels. No, yeah. This sun is mm. definitely no. lying. Yes, no. We need to come back. I'm here for wine tasting whenever. Wherever. Where? I'm here for the wine in general. I want to go to like a winery. Me and, you trying to go with me and Taylor? Yeah. Me and Taylor love a winery. I love a winery. I'm ready to go. The place that we just went to in Virginia was almost two hours from my house. No, I saw that. <laughs> Hi. So we had just finished, and now I am heading back to my car. It's super fun, very cute, and honestly, I'm gonna have to come back and just do like strictly the wine tasting. But like the wine, top tier, top tier. So I'm going to do some running around in Annapolis since it's so nice. It's a little cool, but yeah. Question. Tell me what you think about me. I buy my own diamonds and I buy my own rings. Only ring your celly when I'm feeling lonely. When it's all over, please get up and leave. Question. Tell me how you feel about this. Try to control me, boy, you get dismissed. Pay my own car note and I pay my own bills. Always 50-50 in relationships. The shoes on my feet.
I just finished in Home Goods, or no, Home Sense. I ran over to Trader Joe's to get a few things since I was out here and there was one next to it, but, and naturally, the sun lighting is terrible, but naturally, there's a Home Goods. So I'm gonna go check this out because you know every home goods has something different. And when am I gonna be back in Annapolis? <laughs> no time soon. So let's go see what home goods is getting. So I walked into the store acting like I didn't need a cart and ha 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 jokes on me. I got one. Well, let the shopping commence. <laughs> So I just finished up in Home Goods. I didn't get a lot that was exciting, so I didn't really pull out my camera, but I got another like decorative blue vase to put either on my island or my kitchen table, to be honest. And I'm thinking to put some um, probably like eucalyptus type stems in it. Maybe, we'll see. Um, but then I also got some more drinking glasses because I'm embarrassed to say but Malcolm and I have like <laughs> two drinking glasses because we've broken every single one so we were overdue for some new ones so I got a set of small like the shorter and taller glasses just to have so not an exciting home goods trip I originally went in to get some decorative tiles for our powder room on our kitchen floor but didn't see any so I'll look online but all in all pretty productive day my plan was just to come out and kind of like vibe and I vibed I definitely vibed so I'm gonna get back on the road and head home now before I drive off speaking speaking of faux little eucalyptus I'm actually gonna make a flower arrangement I ran into Trader Joe's and I got it smells so good. I got some fresh eucalyptus, some Veronica, which is going to be like a filler within my um, arrangement, baby's breath, and some some white roses. Do you see? Can y'all see the vibe? It's okay if you can't because I'm just going to do it later and then you'll see the vibe then. So I'm going to get on the road make my way home but today was such a fun much needed much needed day this week was hard so it was a very needed much needed day I'm gonna head home and the sun being out is throwing me off because what Thomas says I'm gonna get home baby that's kind of light and I already know I already know I'm gonna walk in the house and Malcolm's gonna say what's for dinner He's gonna say what's for dinner. Ooh, the sun. He's gonna ask me what's for dinner while he's sitting at home and I'm out. I will put money on it. Maybe I won't put money on it, but I promise you he'll probably ask me what's what's for dinner. What? One of my glasses broke, rolled out of the car. I'm irritated. That one looks so good. So the blue vase I got from Home Goods did not make it inside my house. It broke. And I think it cost, it cost $15, but made it all the way home. And apparently it was leaning against my door. I opened the door and it fell out. And let me show you how Mr. Sir was so lazy. He didn't even tape it on. Not that this was protected it from the fall, but he didn't even. I'm not gonna let it bother me. Because I had a good day. But let me go take this out because Malcolm is outside cleaning the glass. So before I get started, I'm going to roll over the eucalyptus to press out all the oils. And I'm actually going to use my pizza roll. I smell it. Alright, let's 
So let's see what this arrangement is about to give. She's super cute. Tell me, you can't tell me she didn't get it from a pre made like a florist, cause it's giving. Yeah, it's definitely giving. I actually might want to. <laughs> those eucalyptus pieces are kind of just sticking out, but I'm gonna play with those. But this is what she's going to look like. I think it's super cute, and I'm honestly going to bundle this up and have the smallest little bit of eucalyptus in my shower. <laughs> it's cute. Hey y'all, a little bit time later. I've taken off my makeup and we're chilling. Ate dinner, had a salad for dinner, but I am currently editing a vlog, editing my spring cleaning vlog that'll go live. This will be the next vlog to go live, and then the one that I'm recording now will go after live after that. Why did that sound weird? This one that I'm recording now will go live after my spring cleaning. So I'm just gonna spend the rest of this evening or the night doing some editing and. I will see you all in the morning when my cousin and I have a little cousin day of plant shopping, decor shopping, that's kind of our thing. We go shopping for plants every March um, to start the spring growing season, so probably going to end up getting some dirt, different types of soils um, for repotting. Some of my plants, Miss Fiddle Leaf, needs to get repotted real bad. And my Birds of Paradise and my Monstera for sure. So those three definitely need to get repotted and I don't think I have enough soil for that. So definitely getting soil. And I'm hoping to find some different plants that may not be super like, they need direct sunlight. Because I want to start incorporating plants in different parts of the house that are more... Don't get as much. My house gets a lot of light, but just like not. I don't want all my plants in my windows. So I will pick up the camera tomorrow morning when we are running out. And yeah, I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, y'all. Happy Sunday. It is Sunday, March 17th. And I am up. I'm not going to say bright and early because it's 9, but I'm up nice and early because today we are going to go look for some plants my cousin will be here actually she should be showing up any second now and we are going to do honestly our little world tour hitting up nurseries seeing we could find we have two stores or two we want to go to home depot because they low-key have gems sometimes but we have a few nurseries that we want to hit up in I don't know what counties they're considered, but um, Homestead Nursery and Patuxent, which are two nurseries that we, Homestead, so this will be my first time going to Homestead. Patuxent, I went last year, and that's where I got my Birds of Paradise, um, which y'all know, Miss Girl is thriving. Her next leaf, I think, is about to unfurl soon. But, wanted to jump on to say good morning. Also, I need to show you, look, look at my arrangement that I did yesterday in the light. She is cute. Yeah, I did my big one with this one. Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna do it again. B 
because I like the way that this looks in the kitchen, just doing my own arrangements. Yeah. So, good morning. How are y'all doing? What's up? What's tea? What are y'all doing? Let me know in the comments. My dog hears me, so she thinks that she's about to go O-U-T-S-I-D-E, but little does she know. I don't think she is, so. Good morning, y'all. Just wanted to check in, and I want to bring you guys along with us while we go to the nurseries and see what we can find. I'm hoping to find a vine-like plant today, at least one, get some potting soil, and who knows, vibes. Just vibes. My cousin is here. We have inventoried what we're going to do. So, Miss Birds of Paradise is getting an upgrade to a 8-inch pot. Because she's busting out her seams real bad. And then we're repotting Miss Fiddle. Okay, focus. Child, y'all know what she look like. We're repotting Miss Fiddle. Um, however, comma, I need to look up a soil mix for Miss Fiddle because if y'all don't know, fiddle leaves are divas. They're divas, so she's probably going to have a temper tantrum when she is repotted because they don't like their environment disturbed. So we're going to repot. Oh, so we're going to repot the birds of paradise, the fiddle leaf, and definitely the monster. <laughs> no, if anybody's busting out her, if anybody is busting out her seams, it's the monster. I'm pretty sure. I don't even know if that's a what that. I don't know if it's an aerial root at the bottom. That's an aerial root. It's an aerial root but. coming through the bottom. She got a thousand hanging off the sides. Those three, they busting at the seams of their pants. Mm -hmm. So, but let me look up fiddle leaf. Um, soil mix. So, per the national, you don't want to come in the camera. No, about to. Okay. Guys, this is my cousin Lauren. Hey, y'all. Crying. So, this right here says that uh, peat moss or core mixed okay. with perlite. That's it? Yeah, that's one of them. One also says one part compost, peat moss, perlite, sand. Another one says coca, coconut core, mm -hmm. um, pine bark, perlite, and sand. Sand. I was saying the second or the fourth one, yeah, like sand, like play sand. So Home Depot would be like a bag of play sand, like the stuff that they use when. People make concrete and do patios. Yeah. Like okay. So it's going to be very, um, it's not going to be fine by any means. It's no, going to be chunky. Be chunky and textured. Yeah. yeah. I've never bought cocoa cork. It's a brick. So it's like. I've saw, we looked like at it last year. Yeah. But I could probably use that for the Birds of Paradise too. I think I've seen that as a mix for the Birds of Paradise and the Monster. Anything with roots that kind of, because you know they both like. Like to be a little root room, but and, not enough to like choke them up. Yeah. So they like to be bound in a soil that's airy because there is so much like air and space in between all those chunks. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going for. Probably all three of them. Yeah, you probably do the same mix. Maybe a little bit more perlite on the fiddle. Like mm. there's no perlite. We never repotted that one. Yeah, I'm about to go look. I was like, hold up. That so one's she, all like she's peat moss. Like her original home. No, Birds of Paradise is also in its original home. She just fell out of it Is once. They're all, no, they're all in the original. They're all in their That's original. Really all <laughs> they're all because we looked at them. We said, mm, "This looks fine." We, oh, we reparted that in the old one last year. Yes. Oh, Rest like, in peace. I feel like we reparted stuff for like a day and a half. Rest in peace to the old yucca. Oh, well, yucca. Her sister likes that soil. I was like, maybe it was a mix. That mix is fine. Then the other one just like off. Oh, no roots. Off <laughs> itself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Mental, mental, okay, no, actually, let's talk out loud our list. So I don't need a potting, I don't need a pot for the birds of paradise, but do I need a new one 
for the Monstera and the. Oh, it's gonna be a big pot. Let's go look at Miss Monstera. You're going to a 12 inch. I have these rooms. Um, and she she doesn't look bad by any means, but there's a lot going on. <laughs> It's, it's, it's a big thing for her. Um. Oh. Okay, she's perspiring, you all. She's what? She's perspiring. Yeah, she does that. Yeah, Miss oh, Girl okay. is, um. Yeah. Guys, I know we said that we were doing plant shopping today, however, comma. We yeah. still are. We had to prioritize. But them. we took a little stop to a home goods by my house to see if they had that little blue vase that broke. And they did. She's holding on to my replacement for dear life. We've got the proof. <laughs> and I told him that Mr. Sir did not wrap it, cause he did it. But why was she actually surprised? Like, oh my God, how did this happen? It dropped. You see the one bag that it's ripping through? So I was able to get another one of the blue vases and um, we're, gonna, we're just gonna pray that she makes it in the house this time. Not make it home. In the house into her final I even, destination. I don't even wanna hear it in the back. <laughs> like, I don't wanna hear mm -mm. no noise. So, mm -mm. first stop, done. Gonna grab a little snacky snack and then we are on to the nursery. You wanna wear? Let me go to my app. Look at her. Look at her woman, man. Look at her. Look at her. Wanna look at some of the pots that are in here, too. I'm like, actually, I come into nurseries and I get overwhelmed. Hmm. I was actually looking at that one. Is that a form of an elephant ear? Mm -hmm. Alope whatever it's, a it's called. That's, what I, that's an alopecia. Okay. It's a strawberry fountain you know dendron. Me? Close enough. Ooh, that's a monster. It's a tar constellation. That's so one. Very good monster. That's cute. So she is, so she is that's what I was going to say. So that's what I thought I saw. Probably over oh, because these are rare. The, these very are rare, rare. houseplants. The Lauren stone cutting. So we're going to take this back to Jonathan. We're gonna put it in some water. Some Maybe. places make things called rooting hormone. You can dip it in there. It really accelerates the growth process. Screaming. You a little bit of roots. Or once the roots come, this could live in water. It doesn't have to be planted in soil. DIY. Final, final contenders. So I'm leaving here with a. Oh, wait. Pothos and this cute little jade plant to put on my um, desk and then I'm getting potting soil for my other plants and Lauren is leaving with the baby Monstera. A little guy. Very little guy. She's a little guy. She's a little guy. <laughs> She's a little guy. <laughs> Next stop on our plant tour. Home Depot to see what they've got and to get air filters for the house. But next stop. Oh, there's a nice bug on that one. I try to find my nursery, nursery pots. Back home, I repot, I repotted my birds of paradise and put her in her new home. So I'll show you that, and then I'll show you guys the little, the little homes that we've put. The jade plant and the pothos and I think we're going to wrap this up because for some reason I cannot sit down today and I'm forcing myself to do so. So in order to do that, I'm going to stop recording, allow myself to lay down and just be above. Um, yes. So, well, first, I don't think, of, well, this isn't where she's going to be, but there's Miss, <laughs> ignore this in the back. So here is Miss Jade. This is not her end all be all spot. She's going to go upstairs. So, but this is her. She's cute and tiny. And I'm gonna put her in my office. 
And then, here is Miss Pothos. I don't know if this is her final location because I'm not sure if she, I think she's supposed to have more sun than this, so I may shoot her to right there. But, if you recognize her, she's in a planter that looks, may look familiar. And she's going to start to trail down, then obviously I'll lift her up more or I may grow it up a trellis. And... Miss Girl got an upgrade. Miss Girl got an upgrade. She is now in a super tall um, situation and getting all the sun. She's getting all the sun and all the light. And she's high up. Obviously, she won't stay this tall, but until she gets big on her own, we've got to give her a little height. But she is, she is definitely doing her thing with Miss Yuka right there. But... Yeah. Thank you everyone for watching this weekend's vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I am worn out. Honestly, you see how my dog is? Same. Brooke, say I'm tired. Say we're tired. Yep. So, be sure to, if you've made it this far, let's see, will we? I think I did this one time. Mm, we're not doing it. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. I hope you enjoyed this weekend. We had so much fun. I'm going to get back on the couch and be a bum the rest of this Sunday. So catch you all in my next one. And if you haven't done already, subscribe, like, comment, follow on the socials, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.